What's going on, motorheads? Welcome back to the shop. Here comes Bud. You want to say hi, Bud? Say hi to the folks on YouTube. What's been going on, y'all? We got rained in today, didn't we? Yeah, we got rained in, huh? Hopefully, we go walking tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, uh, as you can tell by the title of this, this is a little, uh, little tip for those of you out there that got the, uh, Monogram 32 Ford Street Rod from Ollie's. This is something that you can do to, you know, just kind of make it unique to your, to your own thing. Uh, as you can see, sitting over here, I've got the, the finished one that I just put a video up for, and, uh, I don't know if any of you could tell, and I, I believe I forgot to mention it, <clears throat> excuse me, in the in the video that I had lowered the suspension on that car, and uh, I just wanted to show you how how simple it is on this to, to lower the suspension and get that, you know, that real, that street bully look like that, so this is your rear end here, you don't have to do anything to that. But right here, these two, two little pegs where it sits that I guess kind of like, it's just, I don't know. These little pegs right here, you can clip those down. And, you know, you, you really need to pay attention to what size tires you plan on using when you do this. Whatever you do here, you got to remove out of this. So, this piece... Just connects onto here like this. Now, let me see if I can get it on there. It's kind of tight. This is brand new. I just took this out of the wrapper. All right. So that fits on there like that. What you want to do is clip this piece right here on the bottom, the mount. Now, I took mine almost all the way down to the arch, where the arch would be coming through there. I took mine all the way down to it. And so, this sits in, in this piece like that. And then, of course, the rear ends up on those two studs. Now, depending on how low you want it, you're going to take out of those studs and you're going to take out of that, that little mount. That's all you got to do. It's going to lower your rear end for you. Now, the front is a lot simpler, I guess. Well, maybe. So what I did, cut these two little mounts off, two little nipples there, cut those two little nipples off right there, and then you want to remove these two little hooks right here on these shock mounts, because, and don't worry about it not being able to hook, it'll go once you get this locked in, it ain't going nowhere, but when you lower it, those two little hooks right there are going to impede you from getting the, getting it down in there where it needs to go. So just clip those off flush and clip these off flush. You just lowered it. Now this fits in right there. Now you can see, I don't have a pointer, but we'll use this. You can see right there. There's one on each side. That's going to stop you from letting it sink down in there. So, clip those out, clean it up, and this slides right in there. Perfect. No problem at all. And, I mean, right now, this is how it mounts. That's just it. It drops in there so easy, and it just goes, right? So, when you do all that, it's going to go in exactly the same way. So, that's it. If you have this kit and you're interested in getting that lower stance, that bully stance... That's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Hope you guys enjoy it. See ya!